Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to run an accounts payable aging report in QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of our 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials. You can find by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorial. So let's get started. From your QuickBooks dashboard, let's go to our reports menu by going to the left menu bar and clicking on reports. Let's find the Accounts Payable Aging Report by scrolling down to the What You Owe, and there is Accounts Payable Aging Summary. So let's click on that. Okay, this brings up a report as of the current date. Uh, if the report is fairly long, you may have to scroll up to get to these general options at the top of the screen. So I want to run this report as of the end of last month. So today is the 14th, but I want to run this report as of September 30th. Anytime you change any option, you have to click Run Report for it to take effect. So this shows all of my accounts payable outstanding as of September 30th, and it shows whether that debt is current or if I'm late. So I have four account payable uh, outstanding, and they're each over 30 days late. Okay, so this aging method is a bit confusing. So right now we have the aging method set as a report date. So this is showing all of the accounts payable outstanding as of September 30th period. Okay, if we change this, it's going to show all of the accounts payable as of September 30th that is still outstanding as of today, which is October 14th. So I've gone in and this county of Middlefield, this $100 account payable, uh, it was outstanding as of September 30th, but I've paid it today. So if I change this aging method to current and run report, that debt's going to disappear. Again, so once when the aging method is current, this is the September 30th account payables that are still outstanding as of today's date. So that's why that one disappeared because we've paid it as of today. Okay, other options uh, at the top of the report here, days per aging period, this is 30 days per aging period, number of periods is four. We can change that, personalize it um, to however we like. So we maybe we want to change this to just three periods, then instead of 90 and over, it's just 60 and over. Okay, really totally personal preference, whatever you would like to do. Okay, additional customization, if you go to this Customize button, uh, you can format what you want your numbers to look like. You can format what you want negative numbers to look like. Um, the only option under your rows and columns is the same as we have under the general, which is just if we want to show the active rows or if we want to show all rows, including rows with no activity. Um, our aging, these are the same options we talked about at the top of the report. Our filter, you can uh, do it by vendor or you can do it by location. Of course, for location to work or to be accurate, you'll have to specify a location for every transaction that you're entering in QuickBooks. Um, you'll also have to set up QuickBooks to track location. So if you do a search for Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials, our whole series of tutorials will include some tutorials on how to set up your QuickBooks company properly and part of that will be whether or not you want to track location. So that is a useful feature um, but again you have to make sure your QuickBooks is set up properly. Okay and then finally your header footer just some informational stuff you can include in the header some stuff you include in the footer um, purely preferences to help you customize your report. So after you choose all of those options you can just hit run report and any changes you make will be reflected. Okay once you have this report exactly as you like it several ways to share it uh, if you click on this envelope you can email it as a PDF click on the printer you can print it to a local printer or you can click this button to export it and if you export it you have the choice of exporting it to Excel which you can then manipulate the file further or you can export it as a PDF which would be a very easy way to save it and share it with other people so that's how we can export it once we create it. Um, if this is a report that you're going to refer to often, 
and you want the customizations you made um, if you want those same customizations every time you run the report then let's save this customized report so we can do that by click save customization and we will call it our custom AP aging summary and let's click save okay and our custom report has been saved exactly like this so let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard now next time we want to run that same report we go to reports custom reports and under custom reports we have our custom AP aging summary and that reflects all of the customizations we've just made so that's how you customize and create your AP Aging Summary Report in QuickBooks Online. I hope you found this useful, and please check out our other 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business. Thank you.